been. It's the 31st of July, 2024, last day of July. Beautiful day again. Uh, no good news, I'm afraid, this morning. I'm going to talk about the Southport. Yesterday, another young girl lost her life as a, uh, as a result of being stabbed on Monday. And uh, the Prime Minister visited yesterday and laid a wreath. Uh, he got a fucking heckled by a crowd. As, a, as though it's him to blame. He's only been in post about four weeks. I don't, don't personally like him, but I don't know you could blame him for that. And then yesterday evening, community south, but they were having a peaceful vigil for victims and the families of the attack. But not far away, another group. And I'm, I, I'm loath to call them the far right, but that's what they were, or EDL. They'd organised a march which were always going to kick off, and it did. 27 police were injured. Police fans were burned. Police were fucking pelted with stones and bricks. They pelted a mosque with stones and bricks. I don't know why. Uh, and why did they riot? I'll tell you why. Media, the media doesn't tell because they report some kids are being stabbed and then they drop a little bit out. They've arrested somebody. Then it's a 17 year old person, so they can't name him because he's underage. So people are jumping to conclusions. He's a fucking black kid, he's a Muslim, he's a fucking boat, fucking person, he's a dinghy diver. <coughs> and and they, they get, they just fuel hate without even having any facts. And media, I think media should just say, we've arrested this bloke, he's come from, he's done this and he's done that. Because uh, if, if media come out and said, oh, it was a white bloke, everybody's fucking happy. So how is this rioting helping victims? The victims of, of the stabbing. Do you get what I'm saying? If it were a white bloke who did it, everybody would be okay with that. How fucking stupid does that sound? Anyway, we've had 14 years at Tories and they've broken the country. Uh, they get us Brexit. And ever since Brexit, the country's gone downhill. And it's gone downhill since we got control of our borders. And since we got control of our borders, immigration's increased, much to a lot of people's disgust. Uh, and when an architect's a Brexit, Nigel Farage, he's even become an MP on fucking hatred. He's become an MP, not for what he's promised, because he can't promise fuck all, he'll be doing fuck all, I'll tell you that. But just because he spouts fucking hatred and bile, all he talks about is immigration, he's got no answers at all. Listen to his language along with Tice, Oakshot, fucking Law, Anderson and Bravman. It's all inflammatory language. We want our country back, we want our country back. Uh, and only last week they were saying that this policeman who kicked a fucking uh, uh, a coloured guy in fucking head a couple of times said that policeman should get a fucking medal. Now, everybody knows he shouldn't get a medal, so why would they say that? Do you know what I mean? They've been dining out on last night's events. They love it for all just fucking speaking about fucking uh, country back in it. It's just the same old shit. But the good news is, I missed all the fucking rioting. There was a glimmer of hope, and it's this woman who gives me hope. And they watch this. What does it say? <laughs> How about that then? One lone woman standing up to the fucking mob. She held a placard up. One race, human. Hope not hate. Races have not welcome here. And she got fucking killed for doing that. She's got big bollocks, that woman has. Wakey, wakey. Have a nice day, kids. It can only get better.